Today I'll be giving you a quick introduction to classes. Now classes is also known as object oriented programming and um, they are used to create objects and then give those objects certain functions and attributes. So in this, in this tutorial I'll be running through three different examples. The first example is we're going to create an object person, simply give this person a name. Um, you may have seen other in, uh, examples that you can you know, type in employee and then have employees, you know, name, age, date of birth, salary and so on, position. Um, that's just an extension of what I'm going to show you today. And then the second example is we're going to create uh, a shape with the specified dimensions and then you type in those dimensions and it will give you the area of the shape. And then the lastly, we're going to create um, sort of a bag essentially and what you're going to do is you're going to specify items that you want to put into the bag and then you can call it from the output page. Um, so let's run through the first example. So firstly let's create this person. Let me just grade out and zoom in. So what we want to do is to create our class we simply type in class and then person, hit the wrong key there, and then that's created our class person. Now what we do is we want to give it certain attributes and how we do that is we're going to type in um, init, we're going to use init which basically means we're going to refer to itself and give the class its attributes. So by do how by doing that, we can then specify a name for this person. So how we do that is we type in def, and then two underscores, and then init, and then two underscores. And then we want init to refer to itself, so we type in self or underscore name. My end key is rubbish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define name, so self dot name equals name and then what we're going to do is um, call this person any name we want so I will go for Alex and then we're going to call that person man or woman let's, let's call it uh, P1 for person 1 and then what we're going to do is we're going to print uh, hello and then we're going to call the class so this so how we call the class is we uh, we call we call p1 which is calling this class here and within the class we call the name so we do p1 dot name there's a fly going around somewhere and if we run it, we should see on our output page um, the words hello and then Alex. So let's print it. Here you go. See, hello, Alex. Just below my face. Now, I, don't know, I can't zoom in on this. So, and hopefully you can see that. So onwards to the second example. So that was our first one. Uh, let's get rid of that. So in our second example, we're going to create a shape and then we're going to type in dimension of the shape and then it will call back the area. So in this example, we're going to use a triangle. So simply do the same as we did above, class triangle. And then we put a colon and we type in uh, def dot init again because we want to specify its self functions, oh, remember to have the space, and then we're going to have self, and because it's a triangle, you know, it has a base and a height, so we put all of the attributes that we want it to uh, mention itself in the init statement, and then we put self dot base equals base, and then self dot height equals height. Now the next bit where it comes really interesting. So we want to return the area. So you've also got to put in to here 
self dot um, triangle area and then we're going to specify what triangle area is and it is half base times height so that's what we put in half base times height so there we go we've created uh, our triangle and how we calculate the area of the triangle next thing we want to do is we want to specify our triangle so what we're going to do now is we're going to call our class so uh, triangle and then specify base and height so it goes in the order from left to right so the first one is base and the second one is height so um, we can leave the self because itself refers to itself already so we can just type in the base and the height the triangle is the self so we have the base is 2 and the height is 3 and we're going to call that t and then what we're going to do is we're going to print uh, t dot triangle area so we're going to print t so we're going to call triangle and then within the triangle we're going to call triangle area so half base so half two is one times height three so we should get a result of three when we run this so let's run it here we go three there we go as an integer so what we've done here is we've created the triangle we put a formula in here and then we've got our formula result by calling the class and specifying its dimensions hopefully you are keeping track with me so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bag and um, it's roughly the same startup as before so I want to instead of typing it I'm going to unhide what I've written earlier so def in itself dot name it's like the same thing here and then let's do this so you can go up the page and then self dot name equals name exactly like the first example and now this, this is where it gets a bit different so what we're going to do is we're going to self dot items and then we're going to equals and then a blank list we're going to call it a blank list so what we're going to do is we're going to populate the blank list and then what we're going to do also is we want to add an item into our bag so we're going to create a second um, uh, function that then refers to um, the first function and then adds to the first function so what we're going to do is define add item self dot self comma item and then what we're going to do is whenever I call add item and then specify the item to add we're going to, we're going to I want it to append this blank list here so what we so do you understand that so what happens is this second function fills in the first function within the class bag so we append this item into this item in the bag so what we're going to do is we're going to type in bag I'm going to call the bag shopping basket and then call that R and then also within the bag we're going to add a uh, chicken to uh, the bag so what we're going to do is we're going to run it and this is where it gets a bit different so we're going to call it from the output side so if you just go to below my face and then let's call this so let's call um, r dot name and see the name is shopping basket specified here and then what we can do also is we can have um, i1 first item dot items see that didn't work um, that is because ah yes we need to do this no that didn't work either uh, oh yeah because it's R you record the item in the R so is it R dot items yes ah oh, see even I get really confused so let's do that one again so 
let's work through that one together again. So if we run it again, and we should get r dot name is topping basket because what we're doing all the time is we're calling r, we're calling what's within the bag, uh, and then we type in r dot items because items is what's specified here, and we run it, we get chicken. And what's really good about this is we can do i2, we can just keep adding as many items as we want. r.add item, uh, let's call it lamb, let's have a meaty basket. And let's add another item, a third one. Um, uh, beef. And let's run it again. And then R dot name chopping basket R dot items chicken lamb and beef. You see, uh, all we have to do is all we need to do is change here, and we can change even the name of the bag as well. We can always put it in a Hermes bag if you really wanted to, if you're rolling in it, and then rerun it. Remember to rerun it every time. And so that it loads and r dot name Hermes for Hermes bag and then you know in the Hermes bag we have chicken lamb and beef. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, subscribe to my channel if you really liked it. Uh, there'll be more coming your way and um, look forward to seeing you later. Thanks very much for watching.